Hi, this is Chris with Connected Home, and today's video is going to look at the media capabilities of Elon 8.0. We are currently viewing the app on an iPad Pro, and we are currently on our homepage. On the homepage, it shows all of our different subsystems, and this particular video is going to focus only on the media tab. Media refers to the audio and video capabilities of the system, so any um, house audio speakers or surround sound or even any TVs that we're controlling will be under this media tab. Once you push the tab, it will pop up with all your different zones. So for most of you, you'll have a zone for each room. So master bedroom, great room, screen porch, uh, any other rooms you may have speakers. Uh, in here you'll see, this is in my showroom, there's a few zones we have that are labeled kind of odd. Um, that's just for our control of the showroom in here. Um, it lists all of your zones out, zone name on the left, and if it's on a particular source, if it's turned on, <clears throat> that zone will have a blue indicator light on it, and it will tell you what source it is currently on. So right now, my outside zone, lobby, and bathroom are on my Heos link. Uh, this icon here also indicates what zone it is on. These other zones, as you can see, are currently off. I have mute toggle controls here and volume control here as well. Um, so on this page, I can quickly adjust the volume of each zone without having to go into the individual adjustments for that zone. I can also, if I tap on the source icon, quickly change to a different source for that zone or turn it off. So if I just wanted to turn my bathroom zone off, I can just choose off there. Or if I want to turn it to the CD player, my dish network receiver, or back to my Heos Link uh, music streamer. To get individual control of that zone, I would simply click on the zone name, and that will take me to the page for controlling that zone. So right now the zone is currently on my Heos Link, so it takes me to my music page. I am currently listening to Pandora on my 60s, 70s, and 80s uh, radio station. <clears throat> and currently Al Green is on. Here I have my pause and skip controls thumbs up and thumbs down for Pandora and if I'm playing a list of tracks then this is my uh, play queue. <clears throat> so the queue lists out all the tracks that you have selected to play next and then this button right here would add this station to my favorites. Um, down here at the bottom I have an icon for all of my installed services. Uh, so on my system I have my Amazon Music account. I subscribe to Deezer Pandora, Sirius XM, TuneIn Radio is this guy here. That's where you could go to listen to local AM and FM radio stations. The Heart would be my favorites. The little uh, 3D looking music box is where your music library is stored. So if you're accessing music from a music server, like music stored on your computer, you'll find that there. And this one is your playlist. So let's just say I want to go into my Pandora. I'll click on the Pandora icon. And on this page, it asks me if I want to create a new station or do I want to view my stations by sorted by date or alphabetically. Uh, so I'm just going to view my stations alphabetically. And it'll list out all of my Pandora radio stations. From there, I can choose whatever station I want. And it'll pop up with this little arrow here to play it, so I'll just hit that arrow, and it'll switch over and start playing that Pandora radio station. I can, if I'm done and I want to go back to the main page, I can hit this back button right here that has the little door looking guy on it, and it'll take me back to where I can choose my other music selections. Or I can go back into Pandora, again sort alphabetically, and I'll just put it back on the station I was on. If I wanted to create a new Pandora station, again here at the top I have create new station, so just click on that, and I can type in anything I wanted. Um, so let's just say I wanted to listen to the Eagles, Eagles radio, so Eagles, type in what you want, and then just hit return for done, and it'll create, it'll search for the, whatever you typed in, uh, so there's the Eagles right there, and I can just hit play. And that's it. I have made my Eagles radio station. So now when I go back, 
I just wanted to go back one page. I just hit this bottom back arrow. I should now have a Eagles radio station right there. Um, so that's it for creating a new station. If I wanted to adjust the volume for this zone while on this page, my volume controls are down here at the bottom. My mute controls right here. Or if I wanted to choose a different source, I can click right here on the source name and choose to listen to something else. If I click that again, that will go away. And finally, if I wanted to turn that zone off, I can hit off here and I can hit the off button here again to turn that zone off or it also gives me the option of a sleep timer. And I can choose however many minutes I want that zone to turn off in. Right. One other option we have here while listening to a music zone, up at the top, we will have a settings page for that zone that will let us adjust the audio settings for that particular zone. So this is a house audio zone, so I have my bass and treble adjustments. I'm gonna turn loudness on if I wanna kinda, of, loudness kinda of turns down the bass and lets you get to a louder volume without doing anything that would like damage the speakers. Um, whole house mode would turn all the other zones onto the same source. And do not disturb will keep this zone from turning on when somebody chooses whole house mode in one of the other zones. When I'm done with my settings, I just hit my settings tab button there again and that goes away and I'm back to where I was. Um, again, I can hit this back arrow with the door to go all the way back and I can choose one of my other music services. Most of them all work around the same way that Pandora works. Um, so I'm not gonna go through each one individually, but I will show that this icon here like says tune in radio. If I click on it, it gives me some options of searching for other internet radio stations. But for a lot of you guys who wanna be able to go to local radio, and there will be all of your local AM and FM radio stations. Let's say I want to listen to the penguin. Click on it and hit play. play. And that will switch us over to the penguin. Now when I'm done, I can just hit this back arrow here and go back to my main home page. When I am done with the zone, again hit off and turn that zone off. To get back to the main page that lists all the different zones, I just hit my menu button up here and there's all the different zones. Uh, so right now I still have my outside zone turned off like I just did and my other two zones are still on the Heos link. Um, all the music options you just saw are using a uh, Heos link for streaming music. Um, we can do similar things with Sonos, but it's no longer supported as well. So we, we lean towards the Heos link now. If I was choosing a source other than like a music server, like let's say the CD player, once I click on it, the app becomes more of a um, remote for that particular device. So I'd have my play, pause, and skip devices for the CD player. Uh, but since it is something simple like a CD player, I do not get two-way feedback for that device, so I'm not able to actually see what's playing. Now, if the source is something like a Dish Network receiver or a DirecTV receiver, then things are a little bit different. On the music zones, it's pretty straightforward, but if I go to one of my other zones. Let's go to the actual theater. And in the theater, I'm gonna choose my Dish Network. So in here, once I choose what I wanna watch, everything turns on to the right input, the right power source. I am then on, my TV's on, and I'm watching Dish Network. Uh, and with Dish Network, I can actually see what channel I'm on and what is currently playing. I have the rest of my controls here to you know, view my guide or change channels. Um, and I can even press this button up top here and see the actual guide for everything that is on. Uh, the first time you load it, it takes a few, a few seconds to load up if you haven't loaded it lately because it is pulling in all the guide information for every channel you have. Um, and there they are, and I can scroll through the list. I can even do different categories here. We've made another video that shows how to set up these categories and make your own favorite channels. Uh, so please see that video under our YouTube channel for more details on that. 
Uh, again, if I'm done with the zone, I would just press off and turn that zone off. Um, again, press the menu button and go back to the beginning. That is a basic overview of using the media zones. The one thing I will say is if you wanted the same music to play on different zones, just choose the same source. So choosing my Heos link and all the different zones will put the same music on in all of them. Uh, there's also an option of grouping the zones, but I'm going to make a separate video that describes how to group zones. Uh, once I'm done with my media tab, I press on the media icon again, that goes away. If you guys have any other questions, you know how to contact us. We will be making a video for each of the different subcategories, but again, this was just a quick overview of the media tab. Thank you, and have a nice day.